What's going on guys? It's CTA Prime back here again. Ever since the release of Apex Legends, I've been getting messages every single day asking me if the Latte Panda can run it. So we're going to find out today. We're going to be going in stock form first, and then we're going to test a couple external GPUs. So I'm not going to go too high in with this. I'm only going to be using the GT 1030 2GB GDDR5 version, and I'm also going to be throwing in a 1050 Ti. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you probably already know the specs on the Latte Panda Alpha, but I'm going to give you a quick rundown on it. For the CPU, we have the Intel M37Y30. This is a dual-core CPU with four threads. 1.1 GHz, but it will turbo up to 2.6 on a single core. Most of the time, it's sitting around 2.4 GHz. For the RAM, we have 8 GB of LPDDR3 at 1866 MHz. This is configured in dual channel mode, and the GPU is the built-in Intel UHD615. It will do up to 900 MHz. So like I said, I'm going to be testing this like it sits, just stock, and I'm also going to be adding a couple external GPUs. In order to get an external GPU working on this board, you have to use an M.2 to PCIe X4 adapter. I'm also going to have to add some extra power to this adapter because the M.2 is just not going to send enough juice to power the GPU. For that, I'm going to be using a 150 watt Pico power supply here. It works really well with these GPUs that only require PCI power. So this is how it's going to look with the 1050 connected. We're going to get right into some gameplay. Like I said, first up, we're going to test this out in stock form. Alright, so here we are with the built-in Intel HD615. This is 720p, all low settings. I even took the wattage on the CPU up using the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. I took it from 7 watts to 15, so this is pretty much the best we're going to get out of this. But I do have to say, I thought it would be a lot worse than this. We're averaging around 21 FPS. I figured we'd be in the teens, I mean 11 to 13 One FPS on average. This is much better than I thought, and if we take a look at that CPU usage, we're only sitting at around 30%, but in big open areas, it will hit 100%. Death box over there. Rings next door, 45. I also tested this at 1080p with the same settings we have here. We were averaging 14 FPS, but we did have a low of 8. Now, obviously, both 720 and 1080p are unplayable with a fast-paced game like this. I mean, I guess you could get used to it, but it's really hard for me to get any shots in because the frame rate is just so low. So we got the stock setup out of the way. All low settings, 720p, we're getting an average of 21 with a low of 13. Let's go ahead and add a GT 1030 and see what it does. So I've been having this issue lately where my game capture isn't picking up sound. Now this is coming out of the speakers. The sound is working through the HDMI on the GT1030, but I just couldn't capture it with my Elgato HD60. Think I might need to replace it. So here's the GT1030. Keep in mind this is the GDDR5 version. They also make a DDR4 version, which will perform worse than this. 720p, all low settings. Now as you can see, it's much better than the Intel HD615. We got an average of 49, a minimum of 36, and a maximum of 75. It's much more playable, and if you just lock this at 30 FPS, just put it on half sync, you're going to have a good experience with this. Now this is 720p, I usually like doing at least 1080, so I did test 1080 also, just to see how it did with the GT1030. At 1080p, the 1030 did an average of 31, a maximum of 40, and a low of 23. So this is still on the low end side of things. If you're doing a 1030 with something like this, I do recommend 720, just to get a better frame rate. And finally, we have the 1050 Ti, 1080p, medium settings. We get a minimum of 40, an average of 60, and a maximum of 80. Obviously, the 1050 Ti is more powerful than the built-in HD615 and the GT1030, so we're going to get a better frame rate here. Basically, the 1050 Ti paired with the Latte Pan is a really nice little setup. Now, if we just turn V-Sync on here, we could get a really smooth experience with this game.
So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Really appreciate you watching. I had a few viewers ask me to test this out, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video. If you want to see any other GPUs running on the Latte Panda Alpha, I've made plenty of videos. I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description. If you could, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel to stay up to date, and like always, thanks for watching.